Good morning, YouTube. All right, I got some great news. I will be working for Amazon as a virtual customer service representative. Means that I'll be working from home. I'm not going to be a 1099 employee. Um, employee, no, I won't be a 1099 independent contractor. I will actually be an employer. Employee. Yeah, I wish I was an employer, but I will be a um, full-time customer service representative, virtual customer representative working from home. I will be starting on May 14th is my start date and I'll be, I'm happy about it. You know, the pay is not great, but it's working for one of the biggest and well admired companies in the world. And I still will be doing my gig economy position jobs. I still will be working and doing, um, I still will be working with Uber Eats. I don't want to do Uber. I don't want to drive people no more. My car needs to be totally detailed and totally up to par again for me to drive people. My car has gone through so much and all this driving but I still probably I'll probably be resuming Uber Eats again I may resume doing people but I don't know about people I don't know I have to I have to really pray on that you know that's for sure you know I think if I do people Uber Uber again I'm gonna do local I don't want to go to the airport I don't want to be driving downtown I'm just going to stay local right there in Stone Mountain if I do people again. And I'll probably see what um, Uber Eats is talking about now. But back to my um, announcement with Amazon. So Amazon, I will be working 40 hours a week. Um, I don't know my schedule yet, but they will be sending me a link to choose my schedule. Um... Amazon is 24 hours and it's seasonal for now but it's gonna be about seven months now during that time frame they do convert people to permanent so as it stands now I will be um, working 40 hours a week and they have a variety of schedules you get to choose from now, because Amazon is 24 hours, so um, it could be any time. So, with that being said, I probably will choose an evening schedule. I think I want to work in the evenings so I could free up my um, day during the daytime. So that way, if anything comes up, I could always um, work around doing other things I need to do. Because if you work during the daytime, 40 hours a week, then it may be hard to set appointments and do other things. So I'm not going to do 9 to 5 with Amazon working from home or anything like that. I, most, I will most likely choose um, an evening schedule, like late afternoon to evenings. I don't know. We'll see. I'll tell y'all that once um, I do that. But to become an Amazon, to work from Amazon virtual customer service reps, they were only hiring in certain states. So um, they're not hiring nationwide in every single state. It was very, it was several states they were looking for. And I do believe Georgia, I know Georgia's one. I live in Georgia, of course. Uh, I want to say they were looking for people in Florida. Um, California um, I don't know I can't remember I have to look it up when I go online um, and do a live stream I'll pull it up and, and tell y'all but basically what they are looking for is this you must have a um, computer or laptop connected to a internet live wire cord that means you cannot be wireless now I had to Saturday I had them install an Ethernet cord in my home office and connect it to my laptop. And if you have a laptop, then you must have an external monitor. So I'm going to purchase an external monitor. It'll be under $100. It won't be that much. Um, 
and then let me see of course you have to pass a background check my background check was completed a few days ago um, you must also go to a physical location and show your ID that you are authorized to work in the United States so I showed them my um, I went that just came from the location they verified my birth certificate driver's license social security card you know you bring those type of information in and then the next process is that um, Amazon will send me a computer check link where they're gonna check my computer make sure I have enough memory so basically most computers and laptops um, meet the specification but the moment the main important thing is to make sure that you're connected to a Ethernet meaning that it's not a wireless service or wireless connected to the um, router so all I had to do was call AT&T and they um, they just ran an Ethernet wire from the back of my house to my room and then I could I cut I have a connection to an Ethernet cord I also have wireless service at my house too so I, it didn't cost me anything to do that um, of course past the background check as I said before um, what else live in certain states which I'll tell y'all later um, but if you're interested in working for Amazon just go to amazon.com and go to um, careers and then it will list all the positions that have at Amazon um, for now it pays ten dollars an hour which is not great but you know what to work for a co company like Amazon and get your foot in the door and I'm gonna you know after three months you get benefits you know and then after a year you also get to participate you know they also pay 95% of your tuition so if you want to go back to school and you want to um, pick up a new career Amazon will pay 95% of your tuition and that really caught my eye because some of the fulfillment centers at Amazon also provides courses and classes to the employees so if you wanted to learn anything in technology if you want to become a nurse um, anything like that Amazon pays so they are a very good company in regards to um, benefits and tuition reimbursement and other things so once you get on permanently with Amazon those are the type of um, benefits that they offer which is great and let me see what else I have what else I'm have to say um, the training is six weeks it's still work you know virtual so it's six weeks of training and the job basically would consist of assisting customers on the amazon.com site also issues when they get their packages you know I may be emailing or chatting online and that's basically what Amazon virtual customer service assistants will be doing um, what else what else what else what else mm, oh they're also looking for people to work in the actual fulfillment centers now in Atlanta the fulfillment center is in Duluth they're looking for um, seasonal people to work in the fulfillment center now that's the ones that works in the warehouse and they pick the orders and then they send in packages to customers they're looking for assist you know people to work in that department as well um, I think they pay twelve dollars. They pay twelve dollars an hour, but based, you know, I didn't get that position, and I don't think I was interested in that position too much. But if I had to work there, I probably would have done it. But I probably would have um, done something like a, you know, during the holidays. But they're looking for people in that area as well, full time and part time. Now this position that I'll be working is only full-time so they're not looking for part-time associates at this you know at this time um, it also can become permanent a conversion of permanent so 
He said, depending on how well you do, you know, in regards to attendance, which I shouldn't see an issue, all you have to do is roll out of bed and I just have to walk 10 feet or five feet and just sit there and, you know, log on and that's it. So I'm excited about this opportunity and I still will be doing my um, other economy gigs. You know, I still will be doing Instacart, which I've been doing for two months now. And put it this way, Instacart is pretty good in regards to the money. But the thing is, don't expect to make a whole lot of money with Instacart in regards to um, the range that they said they said you could make. Because really, just like anything else, the money is in the tips. If the customer tips, then it's pretty good. But if they don't tip, it's not all cracked up to be, to be honest. But you get a large order of groceries, you know, you get paid per item, 35 or 40 cents per item and the delivery fee. But if you're in an area and the delivery fee is six dollars and forty cents or five eighty five or something like that, then really um you're not gonna make as much. Now I know I was what we talk about in Amazon, but it's gonna be my thoughts of what I'm gonna do for both. You know, I'm going to do Amazon 40 hours a week. Oh, also overtime. they also going to be overtime. And you cannot take off during that peak holiday. So anything around November, around Christmas, forget it. You won't be getting those days off. So they already told us that if you plan on, don't plan on making any trips anytime during training of six weeks. And do not plan on making any trips around Thanksgiving and Christmas, the holiday season. That's the peak time. So don't plan on any of those, taking those days off or anything like that. So I got to really look at my calendar and look forward in terms of when Christmas and Thanksgiving is. But, you know, to be honest with you, hmm. I don't mind if I had to work on the holidays, to be honest, you know. And if I wanted to spend time and go to South Carolina for the holidays, you know, I don't have to be focused so much on going on Christmas Day and, you know, Thanksgiving Day, you know. If I'm so happy to be off on a certain day, I just go down there and then come back home, to be honest, you know. It's not it's not that serious to be have to have Thanksgiving off and have to have Christmas off, you know. As I've gotten older, um those holidays don't seem to be as family festive like it used to be. A lot of people tend to stay home for the holidays. Nobody don't want to go anywhere and this crowd is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Each time, every every holiday season. So, you know, besides, they need to come to my house for the holiday season for once. You know, I like to, you know, one day have a Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas at my house. But a lot of people tend to like, I don't want to travel. They don't want to go that far. But they always expect me to be traveling to go to wherever. But anyways, this video is getting long. But... I'm making another video in a couple of days or maybe the next video I'll go ahead and, and pull up the um, website for Amazon and show any of y'all who's interested in working for Amazon. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.